boy King Jordan, he put this out there, and I want y'all's opinion on it, man. Y'all see what I voted, but he said, would you rather have loyalty or respect? Explain why in the comments. And uh, everybody seemed to be putting loyalty. Some people put respect, and I'm going to tell y'all what y'all see what I put. I put loyalty, and I'm going to tell y'all why, man. With the exception of family members, because, you know what I'm talking about, everybody got that family member or that friend. Uh, that you always be loyal to and you don't understand why and but but I mean I guess it's because you got to respect them too But you might not respect them But you know and if you don't have that friend then I, I, I'm sorry But you're you're that friend or whatever or you're that family member. I was a black sheep for a long time I was always you know, it just it just is what it is, but at, at my older age, I got to the point where, you know, I was no longer that guy. But anyway, the point is with the exception of the family members or that friend, you know that particular friend Loyalty, and, and I guess, like I said, I guess you do respect them because you respect some about them or you wouldn't be friends with them. But loyalty and respect, they go together, but respect and loyalty not don't necessarily do not. Somebody can be afraid of you and respect you. Not many people gonna be afraid of you and be loyal to you because they will respect you because they're afraid of you and then the next thing you know, they stick the knife in your back to get you up out of there because they're afraid of you. But if they loyal to you, when somebody say, well, you gonna stick that knife in their back, and they're gonna say, nah, I'm loyal to this dude. And like I said, most of the time you're loyal to you're loyal to somebody because there's something that you just respect. You respect the hell out of them for some reason, and then you know that's why you're loyal. But hey, that's just my opinion, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. And y'all know how I'm loyal to y'all because every single Friday we give away $50 in VC Cash App or a copy of a video game, the extra regular ass edition. That's all you gotta do is like the video and put either loyalty or respect at the end of your comment. And uh also, if we can average 8K views, man, we almost to 100K too, man, so let's get there. But if we can average 8K views this month, we're giving away a next-gen console, whether it be an Xbox, a PlayStation, or uh, $500, or I can give away a laptop, man. It doesn't it doesn't matter what it is. I'm giving it to y'all, man. Last but not least, the bots are back now. They're trying to give out phone numbers. They're trying to give out... Um, they're trying to say I'm on Telegram. I'm not on any of that. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Black Planet. And please don't think that we didn't see this dude. Oh, oh. Brutal sin with, oh baby, he's, he's stumbling, bumbling, fumbling. Anyway, and with all that out of the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day, man. I'm trying out some different stuff. Like I, I had a conversation with my guy, a guy that I am, I'm loyal to and respect. Uh, Brutal sin on the scene. It was like, yo, some days it ain't no news, and we're I'm not gonna try to force no news upon y'all. I would do a raising with randoms, I would do a wrecking with randoms, I would do some type of something. So, you know, y'all keep that up. I'm gonna do jump shots, I might do a defensive breakdown. It doesn't it, I don't know what you're gonna get in the morning sometime, but like right now at this time of year when the news is a little scarce, it, it might be oh it might be uh it might be just a video in the morning, it might be news in the evening sometimes because the news may not come out till later. But y'all just keep rocking with that, man. Keep rocking with your boy, keep the likes up, man. Let's get these videos up and get these likes up because if y'all don't like the video, the video don't even go to the people that subscribe to me. We got 95,000 subscribers. If you don't like the video, it's gonna go to like 10, it's gonna go to like a thousand subscribers, right? And if that thousand likes them, then it'll go to the next 20,000. And then if that, you know, if enough people like it, then it'll go to everybody. It doesn't go to everybody. It only goes based upon you guys liking and commenting. So that's why I'm trying. I can't even pay y'all to do it, man. It's crazy, but you know, it is what it is. But I know y'all loyal to me. So I know this video gonna get a thousand likes. Loyalty check. Get the video to a thousand likes. We're giving away $50 today. How about that? Up, up first, bro, we got the boy Tags, and he just says, enjoying playing 2K. 2K ain't dead. I repeat, 2K ain't dead. Don't blame the game because you're not good at the game and can't adjust to the gameplay. And a couple of people say, preach, preach, fam. Listen, man, I'm going to tell y'all straight up and down, man, like, like it's 6 o'clock. I'm enjoying the game. I like the game. I like the challenge of, of, of finding the stuff in the game, finding those nuances, trying to figure out how to play defense better, trying to see what we can do a little bit better, trying to see how I can make myself better. So right now I'm still on the goal of trying to make myself better and figure out things that they're changing. It look like they tweak steals a little bit or whatever. I'm trying to figure those things out and get back to where I was. My jump shot, my jump shot was good and then it turned to do, -do and then like all of a sudden I end up having to change it up or whatever. So look, I'm having fun trying to figure the things out and the nuances within the game and figure out how to make myself better and be a better 2K player. If you're not interested in that, I can definitely see why you think the game is dead and why you don't want to play it and all that good stuff, man. It is what it is, and I'm not mad at y'all, but I'm gonna tell y'all who is interested in playing it. This boy, Key Sticks, is legit. This dude, 90,000 points. I went to his stream last night, watched this. This motherfucker was cooked 
Dang! No capulation. Anybody trying to hate on hate on um key sticks? Congratulations, you played yourself. He's he he legit, bro. He got 90. I seen him go from 90,000 to 95,000 points last night. I sat there and watched the stream that long. And he's probably, I think he's probably at 96 now, 97 ish, something like that. Bro, that dude was cooking. All he really played is stage ones. And uh, like he said, he, this is what he was saying out of his own mouth. I play stage ones. I play um I play stage ones and I play the uh what you call it uh the the like, warehouse ones or stay uh, theater ones so stage ones and stage ones that's what he plays say I only come up out of there in order to do my season uh the season stuff and then I go back in and I do my thing man fellas I'm ready to get up and do my thing I can't get mad at it man you gotta respect it and take it look he passed the he passed the test for me on that. I don't know if it's gonna, if look, if it come out later on that something, that something is amiss or whatever, which I don't think it will, but if it comes out later on that something is amiss, it ain't because he don't got the skill. That's all I can tell y'all. And we know that 2K is banning for multiple IPs and stuff like that. So, so it really can't be that. Like I said, um, nah, I mean, if y'all wanna say he going somewhere else and hooping and doing this and that and this, that and the third, hey man, that's on y'all. I, I'm just telling y'all what my investigation was, and from my investigation, he got the skill to be where he is, and he definitely, and he definitely plays enough. And uh, you know, it is what it is, man. So regardless of what anybody say, I, I'm, I, I, I can't say. I mean, he cooking out there, bro. He legit. I ain't gonna lie. It is what it is, man. Some people might be mad or whatever, but it, you, hey, you, you do what you do, what you do, uh, and and that's all we got with that one. Hey, up next we got Laker fan man saying small guards, tall guards, post scores, rim runners, hop jumper, demons, faders, dunkers. I've seen plenty of people have success with all types, uh, all types of styles on this game. Yet the agenda people will push with it is that it's one dimensional and. All anyone does is the same shit. And uh, that's something that people say, man, because they they they, they don't want to defend the variety. They just like, this is what it is, bro. People all uh, say rim running and they they condemn rim running. Like they sit on you and stand on your feet and don't allow you to take the three. And then say you rim running when you're just making the smart play. Or they gonna say, like, the only thing that I really got an issue with with all that stuff is just the fading. I feel like the fading is just a little too easy. And I, but I understand it though. I understand why people do it. I understand, you know, it, it's a part of the game. They got circus threes in the game. I may not like it, but I'm not gonna complain about it. The only thing I'm gonna do is we just gonna have to defend you a little bit better. And all uh, them corners gotta get active, man. That's just all it is. So with, with that and same thing with rim runners and all that stuff, bro, like you got to get your corners active and you gotta figure out how you're gonna play through, play the game play through it and all that good stuff so that's that's what that is man i think when people get mad at how somebody else plays they really just don't want to adapt to how the person is playing a lot of times when you're playing the game you have to adapt mid game to what the person is doing you got to notice what they're doing see what their moves are see what they got they can't change they uh they can't change their styles or the style of play during the game they got to get off the spot to say like like if i hit you with a, a certain move in real life i can come back later on and hit you with another type of move and then like but on this game you can't he has to do the same moves over and over so like i said you just got to take the thing as a challenge and figure out uh what you can do and and how you can defend it but like i said i don't really have a big issue with with people the only thing i got a big issue you with is people that don't do anything but left stick because you just can't do nothing about it you can't get a bump on them and then like those are the most effective moves in the game for some reason to where people are left stick and they'll be they just be trying to go the opposite way or where you're going then they then they all of a sudden pull back and they get you with the meanest damn walk back on the planet and all that but pretty much what like a fan is saying man he's saying if you got a problem with something the way somebody plays the game shut the fuck up shut the fuck up bro you can't have a problem with the way somebody plays the game even the left stickers i might not like it but it's in the game and if they if 2k don't do something about it and if they don't i mean they must want it in the game it is what it is so hey we just gotta adjust to it adapt to it i do not like a lot of the cheese but it ain't a whole lot of cheese this year we just gotta play the game and keep keep it moving man up next we got the og grandmaster sensei swanse saying can 2k devs not fix the setting and animation stuff or what it's coming up on three months, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I think Mike actually alluded to that in something else when he was saying pretty much. He was just like, yo, um, he was like, yo, we put this into the game late, and because of that, you know, in the in the, in the save states or whatever, it just didn't 
it, it, it affected how things get saved. And it just hurts because, like, I've had my jumper change me again. Like, me and Gamma was playing the other day, and I, I made the jumper, saved the jumper, and put the jumper on, and Gamma was like, yeah, that's not the jumper. And I was like, yeah, it's definitely not. And so like that, and then I put my dunk packages on and it would take dunks out of my dunk package and all that stuff. So it is tough. It is difficult to deal with. I can only imagine if you're a point guard and you got a certain type of SIGs and you put all those SIGs on and then you come back and make sure you got them on and then now you got to play a whole rec game with some bad SIGs, with some ass, ass SIGs. Like I, that would be tough. Fortunately, I don't dribble the basketball. All I do is shoot ball. Jay don't, Jay don't dribble ball, Jay shoot ball. That's what Jay do, so you know it is what it is. Like, I can only imagine how tough it is for those guys. So up next, we got, but well, yeah, 2K gotta get on there and get that straightened out. Up next, we got this dude. Hey, Solo said, this is, a, this is the 2K community, a microcosm of it right here. He says, I beat this kid, Elmo. I beat this Elmo kid and look at the messages that he sent me. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So we just gonna go straight here and we just gonna look at this, man. Look at look at the stuff that people be doing, man. The first thing he beat him, touch grass, your, your fat mama, you fat mama's basement dweller, LOL. And he said, and, and he just said, LOL. He said, I just, I just got recommended your vid. Bet it, I mean, bet it's a scam like they all are. Wow, like y'all boys be hating that man. And then he said no light. And then he sent him a cop. They sent him a, a picture of his controller. Bro, you broke your controller. Ain't nobody make you break that. No lights like you got me that. Pissed. Bro, how can you be? A, if you got a life, you're not gonna break your controller. Like what? I, 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 he said you broke your controller, and dude just come back. Yeah, he says, can I have a quick chat with you? That's what it be. They be fans all the time, man. He says nope. Exactly what I thought. Don't want the smoke. I hope you can, I hope you can run, I hope you can rug burn on the metal slide. What? You clickbait machine? What? Jesus, bro, what is it? He said, now go to bed, little boy. He says, your name is Elmo. Take, I take showers, it don't matter. You got, you got roaches in your hair, I bet. I stop before I butter you up and send you down the t Bro, what is going on here? Is it ever that serious? Why is it that serious, bro? Like, that's and that's what it be though, but he said, I just saw your video, and that's all, that's all, that's, that's everything you need to know. You know who I am, you watch every video, and you, you know I be clickbaiting, you know I be clickbaiting the out of y'all because you said, hey, you probably a clickbait demon and all that good stuff. People want to get mad, man. They really just be fans and they be sad because they probably tried to talk to you and tried to hit you up and be nice and all that stuff. And and, and you got a million messages and you just didn't see it. And so he finally played, oh my God, I'm gonna beat him. Probably tried his heart and probably got his ass whooped and dude wasn't, and, and luck wasn't even, uh, Solo wasn't even really trying like that. So, you know, that's how they go, man. Hey, people get mad, people do what they do. I just don't understand it. And then he'll say this game is that serious to him, but he's the one that broke his controller. Or at least he found a picture of a broken controller. You can probably Google that picture and it's gonna come up. Anyway, it ain't never that serious, man. But I understand if that's the type of stress you're under, I, I understand why people would say, you know I'm talking about the game dead, because if you're getting your ass whooped to the point where you're breaking controllers and you broke a PlayStation controller, bro, I tried to break my PlayStation controller yesterday. I couldn't even do it. Probably gonna have stick drift, but hey, it is what it is. Playing with the randoms, we'll do it to you. Last but not least, we got that boy Ronnie talking about I fed a bell on my birthday. Thanks for all the kind wishes. Happy birthday, Ronnie. But Ronnie, did you not see what Troy did said, bro? This is dude right here. This is what happened. He ran into that bear. I'm not gonna show no more because I don't want to get demonetized, but back. No, 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 Hell no. I'm not feeding the bear. Do you understand? There's a reason why they got at the zoo. Do not feed the bears. And Ronald, you out here feeding the bear. You going against what they say. We done did this rhyming t-shirt on, so we already know you a renegade. Never been afraid to say what's on my mind at any given time. Hey, I don't give a damn about all that. I'm not feeding the bear. Like that one dude I'm watching alone, uh, the, the series alone on Amazon, that dude said, you see me out there in the wood with a bear, you you help the bear. And then he saw that bear, he saw that bear on the ground, that joker said, get me up out of here now. I can't shake this bear. This bear's around, he been, this bear been on my ass since I landed at 10 o'clock this morning. I'm about this bitch. That's what I'm talking about. So, hey, hey, but nah, nah seriously though. Happy birthday, Ronald. Hope you had a blast, but uh, you're doing something that is uh, too brave for your boy to do. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Put Lord to your respect, which one y'all prefer down there in the comment section. And uh, like I said, help us get to 100,000. Let's see if we can get this video to 1,000 likes and we gonna give away 50 bucks today, man. And I'ma holler at y'all next time, till next time.
It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Gosh, please, gosh, please.